For years, Cincinnati's King Records was a major player in the music business, producing hit songs and artists. Now the story of King Records is being told on stage. Not on your side's Lisa Smith gives us a glimpse of Cincinnati King at Playhouse in the Park. Telling the story of Cincinnati King means telling the stories behind the music. It had to have the actual music in it to tell the King story properly. On stage now at the Playhouse in the Park, Cincinnati King is the story of King Records. The label featuring country and R&B singers was started in the Queen City by Sid Nathan in 1943. I fought tooth and nail, brother, and I don't regret a thing. In some respects, King Records is the story of how difficult it was to get along with Sid. I remember I was in the studio. The play doesn't tell the entire history of King, but is narrated by an actor portraying drummer Philip Paul, who shared memories with the writer-director. Telling us all the stories that he remembers, telling us about musicians who aren't with us anymore. One of the King Records artists featured in the show is Little Willie John, and he was the first one to record the hit song, Fever. Fever was a number one R&B hit for the King label, and James Brown was another hit maker. But will we see Brown in the show? There might be. I shouldn't say. You're going to have to come and see the show. <laughs> Lisa Smith, nine on your side. That's how they do it. Cincinnati King just happens to coincide with the 75th anniversary of King Records and efforts to preserve its former location in Evanston. The show at the Playhouse runs through December 23rd.